So every once so often, a documentary comes out that's truly going to have the internet talking. And here is one I think follows suit. Let's jump into my review of the new film, The Jewel Thief. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the new film, The Jewel Thief, which is going to be releasing on Hulu July 13th. So this film is the story of Gerald Blanchard, who is a international thief. But here's what's different about him. Before I even talk about the documentary, this guy's honestly very creative um i think his initial motives were kind of noble to be honest um definitely some relatable factors you know this guy really didn't come from anything he was bullied and he just was trying to make a dollar and he just got obsessed with it and then it stopped becoming about the money and started to become about the fame and there's a guy that was always overlooked and as i mentioned bullied and so this really satisfied all those absences in his life but i mean listen this guy was smart calculated and yet one of the most accomplished criminals of all time internationally shall i say and you know no one was harmed let's just put that there and 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 you know his mom being a part of this documentary also said he never stole from anybody uh he knew but nonetheless, this guy, Gerald Blanchard, <laughs> is hilarious, which in fact makes his documentary hilarious, which I was not expecting. But this 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 documentary, it follows his story all the way from a, the, his young age, his young years of the life of a thief all the way till current because Gerald Blanchard is alive, so he's a part of this. And what's also really cool about this documentary is that you really do get a lot of the key players within his uh, tenure in being the thief. And I mean, you you got the folks, you got cops, you got uh, his 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 mom, you got his dad, uh, you got some of his other accomplices, you got folks who knew him all giving their take on his different stories as well as himself, which is funny because, it, it, you know, there's there's parts of the story where he will recount it one way and then like a cop will recount it another way, which is just hilarious. And then they have reenactments of some of the things that's happened. And like, truly, this stuff seems so unbelievable. If they didn't have these people, I wouldn't know what to think. But in fact, that these things really did happen, really putting some people's livelihoods on the line, some people's jobs and careers, uh, safety, all sorts of different things. Uh, talking about the story, it's funny that folks will really step up to, to talk about the moments that he embarrasses them. Because beyond being a thief, this guy's an escape artist. I mean, so many different things for him being arrested escaping a cop car still in the cop car hiding within the ducks inside of in, in inside of different buildings i mean he really he's really did it all and i mean even going back from like his small days and and, and just shoplifting and um you know electronic stores and you know one day uh he 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 cleared out an entire store at 16 like the entire store um and, and and you know going beyond that you know finding love and 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 the states getting bigger and getting involved with some international gangsters uh you know it's a it's a lot of different things that goes on in this story and then you know even coming to current where uh he 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 kind of talks about if he's kind of changed if he's out the game so it kind of leaves you a little bit of mystery in terms of like what he's been up to since he's done uh, you know, because he's been in and out in jail, but like, has he learned? And 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 since that, you know, he's been kind of quiet for a while. But like, the whole documentary shows that well, he doesn't like quiet. He wants to be, uh, you know, get that notoriety of being this guy. And like, yes, the title is the Jewel Thief. He takes something that's very prestigious, but he's done a lot of other things that makes this title not really fulfilling enough. Like, there's a bunch of other things that he's done besides this one jewel 
uh, that you'll see within like the posters and whatnot. Uh, but I, I, I just think that, you know, having Blanchard a part of this documentary, um, his mom, cops, ac uh, uh, accomplices, you know, all these folks that really did um, make this story full circle. It's just a good documentary. I think it's about an hour and 40 minutes and you're getting so many different things. And I think that what I what I, I think what I enjoyed the most is just how authentic it felt at times, you know, because. You know, you got the fact that like he's telling his story. He he clearly has an ego. But then you have the other folks saying like, well, this is kind of what really would happen. And I think it leaves the viewers able to like really put together our version of it. it's always two sides to a story. But truly, it's always three sides. But nonetheless, you just don't have him telling his story and like making this overly exaggerated depiction of what's happening. I mean, this guy was talking about he had the paparazzi when he was still in out of um what's what i keep forgetting the name of it not circus radio shack radio shack um and like yeah the cops were like there was definitely no paparazzi there at the age of 15 for things and again i mean this story you know goes back to when he was 15 16 all the way to 2012 and then all the way up into 2023 where now this documentary is out and you kind of like hey yeah you know just kind of chilling. He had a, another little incident at the point, and I think like the cliffhanger of like a notion at the end leaves you wondering what is this guy up to. But truly, 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 from the things he's did in Winnipeg, from the things he's did overseas, uh, this this Blanchard guy is a character. That's what you take from this. He is a character unlike anybody else. And I honestly think when it came down to documentaries such as the the. Uh, the tender swindler who was clearly a character but like he was malicious in what he did this blanchard guy i am confident that the u.s government must want to employ him for his tactics his antics his skills of how this one guy was able to do so 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 much and while yes it was a life of crime it was nothing that got anybody harmed you know he there was no one hurt in any of this stuff you know and i think that's that's the, really the caveat to all of this is that like yeah he was still in but it was never ever anything to have anybody hurt or harmed um but yeah you're gonna have to watch this one this is a good one folks it's on hulu check it out uh you can ch check out the jewel thief uh premiering july 13th jump in the comments folks let me know your thoughts about it when you do and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Thank you for watching.